Hey Dylan, this is Josh from Josh and Danny SEO. I'm just shooting you over that video about how you can improve your online presence. So just taking a look at your website, it is a really nice website, I'm gonna be 100% honest. Uh, you got a great logo, you got a click to call, uh, you have all your drop downs, as well as of course, request an estimate. And then going through, so videos are great. However, I wouldn't necessarily put it on the front page because you want content, not necessarily videos. So this would be good to put on a back page about like a blog or something like that, but not necessarily front page because words are better than videos. And then of course the different uh, flooring you do and the different services. And then the, of course, about us, how you got started and that you have a mobile as well as um, what's it called again, a in-store and a mobile showroom. And then, a lot of pictures you you do have a lot in your website i'm not going to say because you i have it say about 700 words which is a lot uh, it's nice it's just what google is truly looking for nowadays is about 1500 to 2000 words now the reason for that is or at least on your home page the reason for that is so you can put organic keywords throughout your site now what an organic keyword is is a buyer intent word that someone's putting in google to find your specific service and of course where you are now let's check behind the scenes before we get deeper into that and see what's going on with your website. So when we put it into AREFs, which allows us to do that, out pops your rankings. So we look at the UR rating and the DR rating. Now the UR rating is the strength of your website. The DR rating is the trust Google places in your website. Now the way we build those up are with backlinks. Now what a backlink is, is any link that leads from another website back to yours. Now, all backlinks are not created equal. For example, a backlink from Wikipedia would be an awful link because Wikipedia is super spammy. However, a backlink from a distinguished flooring blog would be great because that is relevant to your service. Now, another thing are your keywords. What buyer intent words are you ranking for um, that you're showing up on Google? So when we take a look, Mara Flooring, Mara Flooring, Ashland, Ashland Flooring, that's going to be the main one as you can see it only has 70 people um, and you're on the bottom of the first page which is why you're only getting two of those 70 people uh hardwood flooring same deal so you are moving you are moving in the right direction with a lot of your keywords it's just well a lot of them don't have um location so they can be anywhere in the u.s so what we're going to do just to show what like a good strong uh, place would be we're going to take boston so flooring boston ma that's going to be like the biggest place around that's going to have the most search volume that's going to be able to show this the best so first thing that pops up when you put flooring boston is your gmb it's the google map pack now i know you're the pretty much you're doing the top in ashland for both your website and your gmb so that's awesome however there's only like sixteen thousand people in ashland and not much search volume so it's not getting much through your website so i'm just going to compare it to the closest big city boston as i was saying before so the gmb you need to do the same thing just recreate another one and rank it on uh the gmb because 30 to 40 percent of people will stop and pick one of these guys right here and then of course you have your organic rankings this is by strength website so you're gonna have you have house yelp angie and boston floor this is going to be your top competitor in boston so boston wood so we look at them they have all their different drop down menus they don't have a click to call which is unfortunate but hey you can always improve and then it just goes talks about them what they do they don't have a ton of content either now let's check behind the scenes and see why they're number one for a great keyword in boston so when we put the ranks in you can see their strength is 22 and their trust is 3.7 but as you can see they got a decent amount of backlinks so that's helping them get that uh, that strength and trust as well as they're ranking for almost 670 different keywords so let's check what keywords they're ranking for. So Boston Wood Floor Supply, that's them. Boston Wood, that's them. Bona, Bona or Bona Stair Colors, 
Boston floor. Now, this can be good or bad. It could be them. However, this would still be something someone can put into Google in order to find their service. So 300 people, second, first real position, as you saw, 43. That's how many they're getting. Boston flooring, that's the, the great one. 300, first real position, 41 people from that. Boston hardwood floor, 250, second real position, 37. So as you can see, the volume and the traffic is much different because more, a lot more searches are happening. So that's what, uh, that's why they're getting all that traffic is because they're ranked number one. So if we're looking to grow out, expand, as I said, you're already doing pretty well in Ashland, uh, but there's just not a lot of traffic. So even though you're pretty much number one, you're not really getting anything because there's no one searching. So you can always go to the nearby areas. Um, and if you want to do that, of course, Boston is going to be your biggest, which big thing is you want to get more backlinks. Um, you want to beat out Boston Wood. So the way you do that is you take their backlinks that they had, their 386, and then add it to yours. And then, of course, that'll bring up your URDR and help you beat them out. And then, of course, your referring domain, or I mean your organic keywords. You want to get that content up, 1,500, 2,000 words, so that you're able to organically put keywords throughout your site so Google could start ranking you for the best keywords possible. Do that, you'll start seeing more people coming through your site and more calls through your website. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach back out to me. And if you can leave some feedback, that would be awesome.